Hello, I'm Mickey Trowbridge, and welcome to your practice. Today's practice is going to be what I call a get up and flow practice. So it's meant for those moments where you've been still for a while. Maybe you've been at a desk working, maybe you've been traveling or sitting on a couch. Maybe you just feel really stagnant in your body and you want things to feel energetically fluid and moving again. So we're just gonna get into the flow this practice. Not a ton of different poses. Uh, you'll see it's pretty repetitive and each round kind of builds upon itself. So there doesn't need to be a ton of thought once we get into this first round of poses. We'll find them in our body and then just get moving in our body. All right. With that, we're going to dump right into it and come over into table pose. So as you arrive here on your mat, let's really intentionally set up with your hands, your wrists below your shoulders, your knees below your hips. And then inhale, we'll drop the belly, lift the heart, lift the head, cow pose. And exhale, round the spine for cat. Let's take just two more here as we settle in. Big full inhale to inspire the body into the shape of cow. Long, slow exhale to inspire the body into the shape of cat. One more. Inhale, cow pose. And exhale, cat pose. As you inhale, we'll find table, that halfway point between cat and cow. And let's slide your right leg back. We'll start with toes on the mat. Create a really active leg there. So imagine that there's a wall right behind that right heel that you can press into. And then let's take your left arm forward as well, if that makes sense. And imagining that that hand has a wall to push into as well. So you're reaching forward and back deep breaths into the belly and the ribs, everything in between this really active arm and leg. And then let that hand come down and let that shin come down. Inhale, drop the belly cow pose. Exhale, rounding into cat. And inhale, table. Other side, left leg goes back. Right arm goes forward. Trying not to let everything get really stagnant and heavy in the midsection, but to feel that sort of upward and outward energetic intention. And then hand comes down and shin comes down. Table pose. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, table. So we'll move side to side with the breath a few times. As you inhale this next time, right leg goes back, left arm goes forward. And then exhale, hand comes down, shin comes down. Inhale, left leg, right arm. And hand comes down, shin comes down as you exhale. So we'll alternate side to side there a few times. And what I want you to focus on there. It's not necessarily the hand and the foot or the arm and the leg. That's sort of your squirrel distraction. But I want you to focus on stabilizing through that mid region. Feeling really strong and stable there. And having a sense that the lift of the arm and the leg is actually coming from your midsection as opposed to the hand and the foot. Let's go one more each side. And as the hand and shin come down this time, let's get the hands ready for downward facing dog. Tuck your toes under and hips up and back, downward facing dog. Pedaling out the feet there for a few moments, maybe wagging your tail. And then inhale, let's rise up onto your tippy toes, heels lift, and exhale, heels come down. They might touch the ground, they might not. Inhale, we'll rise up. Exhale, heels lower. One more time, lift up. And heels down, exhale. You might choose to stay there or the movement can get bigger. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, down dog. 
two more times, plank. And down dog. One more time, inhale, plank. And exhale, down dog. We'll stroll the feet forward to the hands. Take your time. And once you're there, let's bring the fingertips to the shins. Slide the fingers up the shins. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Root into your feet. Inhale, let's reach up, rise up. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reaching. Exhale, folding. Fingers to shins, slide them up, halfway lift. Feel the shoulder blades glide toward each other on the back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, reach up. And exhale, hands to heart. Adding on from there. Inhale, let's reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. As you fold, right leg will stay, left leg steps back. Setting up for a crescent lunge, let's keep fingertips on the ground. Active, active back leg. Keep your lean, but let's take your hands and reach them back. Imagine those hands have something to push into, a little extra broadening through the collarbones and the shoulders. And then as you inhale, let's bring the shoulders over the hips. Turn all 10 toes toward the left edge of your mat, and we'll find skater pose over that left thigh. So we're going to do this transition a few times. This first one is just to get it into the body. So the left knee can stay relatively shallow in the bend if you'd like. Some of you will choose to drop it down lower, coming into skandasana, letting the heel or the sole of the right foot lift. We'll be here for a few breaths, just sort of exploring. For those of you that skandasana is too low, keep it a little higher in that skater lunge. And then we'll turn it back to face the front of the mat. All 10 toes face forward. Hands come down around that front foot. Left hand will stay grounded. Right hand to the sky. Two more steady breaths here. As you exhale, right hand comes down outside that right foot. And let's step it back, downward facing dog. And take a few breaths here. You might return to that inhale, lift the heels, exhale, lower them down. You might find some stillness in down dog or inhale, come forward to plank. Let's lower the knees for this first one. Elbows point straight back as you lower toward the belly, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra of any height. Exhale, lower. And we'll push back through table and downward facing dog. Big full inhale here. Full complete exhale. Inhale, let's take your left leg to the sky. And as you exhale, left foot's coming outside your left hand. Lizard pose, couple breaths. You can be on fingertips or hands. If you have blocks at home, you might put some blocks into the hands if that's more comfortable. And let's set the arm and the left, the left arm and left leg up in a way where they can push into each other. The leg pushing in, the arm gently pushing out. As you exhale this next time, let's straighten both legs, gently fold. And then inhale, bend both legs, let the head and the heart lift. Two more times there. Cow lunge, or sorry, cat lunge as you straighten the legs and fold. Cow lunge as you bend both knees, lift the heart, lift the head. 
one more folding inhale lifting let's look forward one or multiple steps right foot comes outside your right hand angle those toes slightly out heels slightly in we'll drop the hips malasana squat hands could be at heart hands could be up toward the sky and if these squats don't feel great you can take what I call football coach instead, which is up a little bit higher with elbows on your thighs. Two more breaths wherever you're at. And then let's take the head and the hands down, hips high, forward fold. Wiggle the feet back to hip width. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Same thing, we'll reverse the order of the legs. Inhale, let's reach. Exhale, fold. Fingers slide up the shins, halfway lift. And as you fold, we'll let the hands find the floor. Left foot stays, right leg steps back. We'll set the, leg, the legs for crescent pose. And then when you feel settled, your torso stays low, but the hands reach back. Imagine that they have something back there they could push into to help create some space in the chest and shoulders. We'll start to tip the shoulders over the hips. All 10 toes face the right side of the mat as you start to rotate. And then we'll take skater or skandasana toward that right leg. So hips can stay relatively high, right thigh more or less parallel to the ground. If you want to drop it lower towards skandasana, the sole of the left foot lifts and the hips drop down. Wherever you're at, two more breaths. Slowly make that transition to face the front of the mat. All 10 toes face forward. Hands come down around that front foot. Right hand is grounded. Left hand to the sky. One more big inhale here. Exhale, hand comes down. Downward facing dog. Again, option to stay, option to inhale, roll forward, plank. Knees up or down will lower slowly, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. When you're ready, right leg lift foot outside the right hand. We'll start in lizard pose. So hands either flat or on fingertips. A little bit of a pressure, an effort, I call it a nonviolent battle, <laughs> between your right leg and your right arm. Arm pushes out, leg pushes in. And then we'll slowly start to straighten that front leg, bowing inward, cat lunge. And then bend both knees, let your heart and your head lift, cow lunge. Two more, folding. Bending those knees as you inhale, lifting. One more. As your heart lifts, the gaze goes forward. We're going to step that left foot outside your left hand. Toes angle out, heels angle in. Football coach with elbows on thighs or your version of malasana, squat. Hands on floor, heart, or at heart, or reaching up. Steady breath. Heels might be off the ground, but do your best to keep the inner and outer edge of both feet really rooting down into the floor.
head goes down, hips go up, forward fold. And let's bring those feet to parallel. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, come up chair. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, let's rise up. Exhale, hands to heart. We're going to go through that same sequence again, but now with the rhythm of our breath. Inhale, let's reach. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, we'll fold. Left leg steps back. Stay for the inhale, get long. As you exhale, reach those hands back behind you. Stay for the inhale. Skater over that left leg as you exhale. Stay for the inhale. And then turn to face forward, hands come down, exhale. Inhale, right hand to the sky. And exhale, hand to the floor. We'll step it back, downward facing dog, where you can stay if you'd like. Or inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, left foot outside the left hand. Inhale, cow lunge, both knees bend, head lifts. Exhale, cat lunge, legs straighten, we fold. Inhale, bend the front knee, look forward. Right foot steps outside the right hand. Hips down, head and heart up, malasana. And with your next exhale, forward fold. Feet come to parallel. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, rise up, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, let's reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. As you fold, right leg steps back. Take a moment to set the feet. We'll stay for the inhale. As you exhale, take the hands, reach them back. Stay for your inhale. And then skater over that right leg as you exhale. Stay for the inhale. And then bring it back forward as you exhale. All ten toes point forward, hands down. Inhale, left hand to the sky. Exhale, hand comes down. Down dog or inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right leg lifts, inhale. Right foot outside the right hand, exhale. Cow lunge, inhale, both knees bend. Exhale, both legs straighten, cat lunge. Inhale, heart goes forward. Left foot outside, left hand. Toes out, heels in, malasana, squat. Big full inhale. Exhale, fold. Feet come back to parallel. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees. Come up to chair. Even out the breath. Feel the heels root down and gently pull back. Mm -hmm. 
We're going to shift weight into your right foot and start to bring your left knee up towards your chest, letting the right leg straighten. We'll reach down and either support underneath the left hamstring with the hands, or those of you that like to piece finger the big toe, index and middle finger come to grab that left big toe, and then let's stand up tall, whether you're supporting hamstring or toe. Right hand, let's bring to your hip for now. Option to stay here. Option to take your left leg towards straight. Again, either supporting under the hamstring or holding the toe. Steady breath. If it would make sense to lift your right hand toward the sky, take that option. And then we'll bend that left knee again. Keep the leg where it's at. Let your hands come on down by your sides. Palms facing back behind you like you're pushing something away. And let's tip the torso forward as you take your left leg back. Airplane pose, AKA warrior three. Big full breath here. As you exhale, we'll bend the right knee. Step back into your lunge. Inhale, hands to the sky. As you lean forward, we'll bring your hands to your heart. Tap left elbow to right thigh. Inhale, bring it back up. Two more like that. Exhale to twist and tap. Inhale, reach up. One more. Inhale, we'll come up. Make that rotation back to skater over your left leg or down to skandasana if that's feeling good. Find your breath. And we'll make that rotation again over the right leg. This time, you can either keep two feet on the ground with two straight legs or come up onto that right foot for standing leg lift, also known as standing splits. We're going to be here for a couple breaths. You have the option to stay. If you want to play with balance, then maybe one or both hands comes to your calf. If you want to play with hops, then plant the hands. Start to shift weight out of that right heel onto the ball of the foot. Little bend to that right knee, and then up you go. Little hops. Shifting weight little by little out of the foot and into the hands. If you find handstand, maybe you stay. Maybe you just hop. Last couple breaths. If hands are not on the floor, let them come back down. And we'll step that left foot next to your right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knee. Come on up, chair. Wait into that left foot. Right knee comes up. Maybe you reach down and hold hamstring. Maybe you piece finger the right big toe. Whichever one of those you choose, though, don't get excited about straightening the leg yet. Just be here. When and if it makes sense, right leg goes out towards straight. Maybe that left hand reaches up toward the ceiling, if that makes sense. Last full breath here. And then we'll re-bend that right knee. Let your hands release down by your sides, pushing the palms back into something imaginary. And then we'll start to tip the heart forward, right leg goes back, airplane pose. Couple steady breaths here. When you're ready, we'll bend that left knee, step it back into your lunge, hands go up to the sky. Exhale, hands come to heart, lean, right elbow taps left thigh. Inhale, come on up, shoulders over hips, hands to the sky. Two more.
we'll bring it up one more time and start to make that rotation to skater or skandasana over the right leg. Staying with your breath. And then make that rotation back to the front of the mat. Either two straight legs, two feet on the ground, or standing splits on that left leg. We'll be here for a few breaths. Use it as you'd like. You can play with balance. You can play with hops. Just keep the breath flowing wherever you're at. And when you're ready, we'll lower that right leg down next to your left. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Give yourself a couple breaths here. Maybe you grab opposite arms in some fashion. Maybe you sway a little bit side to side. And then let's release your hands down toward the floor. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, bend your knees, and we'll sit up into chair. Kay. One more round here. When you're ready, shift into that right leg. Left knee comes up. This time, if you want to take it further, left hand on left hip, right hand either outside the left knee or outside the left foot on the pinky edge. And then don't get excited, just stand tall. Create space in what you've already built. And if and when it makes sense, left leg heads out towards straight. Maybe left arm reaches back behind you. Final inhale here, get a little taller. And then we'll exhale, bend the knee, untwist, hands to the sky. And let's take it into warrior three. Hands can keep reaching forward or they can reach back, your choice. One more inhale here. And then slowly step it back, crescent lunge, hands to the sky. Just one time, exhale, left elbow, right thigh. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, skater or skandasana over your left foot. Take it to the front of the mat. And let's come up onto that right foot, left leg lifts. Let's try to keep that left leg parallel to the ground this time. Left hand is going to stay under the nose. Right hand will peel up toward the sky. If this is not happening or doesn't feel good, again, you could take the version with two feet on the ground same arm and upper back work. Final breath here. And then let that right hand come down. Two breaths here. Again, you can fold, you can hop, whatever you'd like here. And then we'll end up with the right foot on the floor and then the left foot on the ground. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, bend your knees, chair pose. Into your left leg, right leg comes up. Right hand to right hip, left hand outside the knee. Or left hand on pinky edge of right foot. Stand tall. Maybe the right leg straightens. Maybe the right hand reaches back. Slowly bend the knee. Unwind, releasing the grab. Hands to the sky. 
We'll tip one last time into warrior three. Hands can reach forward or back. Your choice. We'll bend that left knee, step back, crescent lunge, hands to the sky. Exhale, right elbow, left thigh. Bring it up. And all the way over into skater, skandasana over that right leg. With your inhale, we'll turn, face the front of the mat. Come on up onto that left leg, right leg parallel to the ground. Right hand on floor, left hand to the sky. Remember, you have the two-footed version of this if you'd like. With your exhale, left hand comes down. You have two breaths of your own time and space here. Balance, folding, hops. Enjoy them. Ending up in your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. As you fold, let's turn the toes out, heels in, let the feet go wide, and let's sit back into your Malasana squat. Even out the breath. Option to stay here for a few more rounds of breath. If you would like to plant your hands on the ground, bring the knees to the back of the arms. Look slightly forward of the hands and think just one big epic thigh master. <laughs> As you exhale, maybe one foot, maybe both feet leaves the ground for crow pose. Feet back to the floor if they're lifted. Inhale, hands to the sky, Malasana. Exhale, hands to the floor, hips high, forward fold. Two more times there. Hips low, head high, Malasana. Exhale, fold. One more time, Malasana. And fold. Any way that you'd like, we'll make our way back into Downward Facing Dog. And from your Down Dog, let's take your right foot up and back. Right knee to right wrist, we're setting up for Pigeon Pose. Coming onto the outer edge of the right calf and the right outer thigh, left leg wiggles back. So I'm gonna give you pigeon buffet here. So this is option one, pigeon upright, pigeon folding, <laughs> lounge pigeon, option two. If pigeon is not a pose that works really well in your body, then you're gonna spin around, come down onto your back, and bring your right ankle onto your left thigh. You can hug onto your left thigh or left shin. And settle in here. Wherever you're at, try to keep the breath nice and steady. creating something with each and every inhale and each and every exhale. Maybe you usher something in as you breathe in. Release something as you breathe out. And maybe these somethings have names. Maybe you silently are identifying them as you breathe. Or maybe it's just an essence, a feeling of what the inhale creates for you and what the exhale creates for you.
but allowing there to continue to be intention into how you're breathing and what you're creating through this breath. If you're on your back and thread the needle, you'll stay. If you're in pigeon, let's start to ease ourselves up. And make, take your way back, make your way back into downward facing dog. Those of you on your back, feel free to bring both feet back to the ground for a moment, find symmetry. And then second side, left ankle to right thigh if you're doing thread the needle, or left foot to the sky and down dog and left knee toward left wrist for pigeon. You can stay upright, you can fold forward. Finding a shape where you can get comfortable once again and then settle into the breath and into the stillness. And within the stillness, identifying that the outer body is now truly still. There's a great sense of movement, a deep ebb and flow within you that comes from this breath. It comes from your pulse. from the life within you. Last two breaths here on this side. And then we'll ease ourselves up away from the ground, pressing back into downward facing dog. If you're on your back, just stay. And then from your down dog, take the time that you need we're going to slowly make our way over onto our backs as well, maybe walking forward and then lowering the hips and lowering yourself down onto your back. As you come down onto that back, let's bring both knees into your chest. Give the legs a nice hug. And then we'll release your left leg down onto the floor. Let the right knee stay in. Let the right arm open out to the side. We're going to use your left hand to guide your right leg across your body into a twist and really let yourself come over onto that outer left thigh. This might be where this pose settles for you. I'm going to give the option for cat chasing tail if that would feel nice. So the option to bend that left leg, pull the foot up toward the butt and try to reach down with your right hand to grab onto the foot. Try not to force anything here. So if it comes, let it come. If it doesn't, let it go. Left hand can stay supporting the outer right thigh. If it feels nice, sort of like we did standing, you could grab the pinky edge of that right foot and start to take your right leg out towards straight. Lots of different options. Try to pick one that suits you and pleases you, not one that you think is what you should be doing. If you have the grab on that left foot, do your best to keep your right shoulder opening in toward the floor. Deep, deep belly breath. And then we'll start to soften and release what you've built here, returning onto your back. Bringing the feet to the ground with the knees bent for a moment. 
Maybe a little decompression, pressing the hands into the thighs. And then let's get that second side. So left knee comes in, right leg heads out towards straight. When you're ready, we'll release the left arm out to the side. Right hand guides that left leg across. We'll roll to your outer right thigh. Staying here if you'd like. Maybe letting that left foot come down to the inner right thigh. If that cat chasing tail version felt nice, you can bend the right leg, go hunting for the right foot with your left hand and attempt to grab on. If it doesn't come easily without force, just let it go. Left leg can stay bent or grab the outer edge of that left foot and begin to straighten the leg. Attempting, if you have the grab on that back foot, to let that left shoulder release into the ground. Deep, easy breaths in and out. Slowly start to release what you've created, returning to your back. Mm. And once again, feet on the ground, knees bent, line everything up. Let's have the feet go wide, let the knees fall in on each other, and allow the hands to settle on your low belly. Notice and feel what you've created through your movement, through your breath. And for as long as you have in your day to stay and be still for a while longer, I invite you to find stillness either here in what we can call constructive rest pose or let the legs straighten out to Shavasana. But let this be a really intentional and beneficial stillness, not the kind of stagnant stillness that brought you to your mat today, if that was part of what found you here. A stillness that feels really full of life of breath, of presence. And so I'll leave you here to rest for as long as you have. When you are ready to return to your day, just slowly and easily come to a side and then up to a comfortable seat. Thank you all for practicing together. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste.